Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. We're now the number one reviewer on Google and YouTube for theatre. This week we visit 9 to 5 at the Savoy Theatre in the West End. 9 to 5 is on a strictly limited season at West End Savoy Theatre this spring. This musical, like Dolly herself, may well have its knockers. However, if you want an uplifting, fun and somewhat mindless night out in the West End, 9 to 5 would do perfectly. Despite trying to have powerful meaning, it's coated in camp old nonsense and show tunes. This ain't Shakespeare. To be honest, this show is not for me, but it's not aimed at me. As I entered the Savoy Theatre, I found myself surrounded by mostly 40-plus women, who were clearly having a hoot from the moment Dolly appeared on video. This show has some of the best energy from an audience that I've felt in a theatre in a long time. Kudos where it's due. Having first hit Broadway in 2009, this show could not have been more timely following the rise of Me Too. In summary, this is a story of overcoming suppression and sexual harassment dressed up in glossy feel-good sing-along musical nonsense for the masses. You can get tickets by googling 9 to 5 Musical. Starring Caroline Sheen, Amber Davis, Natalie McQueen, Bonnie Langford and Brian Connolly, they all shine in this Big Up the Lasses themed musical. 9 to 5 features a nice but mostly forgettable book by Patricia Resnick and the Oscar Grammy and Tony Award winning Queen of Country herself, Dolly Parton. There isn't a weak link in the cast. I would argue they're all better than the show itself. Langford naturally steals the show with her remarkable 11 o'clock number halfway through Act 1, an effortless star through and through. Connolly equally shines as the despicably creepy and indefensibly inappropriate boss. Connolly is always a superb turn. Caroline Sheen sings up a storm, and Amber Davis from Love Island is a rare TV reality type that deserves her role in the show. Natalie McQueen plays the part and like part herself, the secretary mistaken for the boss's mistress. She has a hugely powerful and high voice. Despite flogging the show with endless press, Dolly does not appear live. However, she does appear on video to the joy of the audience. This is her baby after all. The set is of touring standard and the band lighting and costumes are fine, but not spectacular. This is basically a four-star tour with a three-star West End filler night out. The cast do it proud. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year, we had over 12 million minutes viewed on YouTube. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da.